okay you two this is second for case and this is the ozark trail axe that i just bought off of walmart so we're gonna um take a look at it and see how it chops Sacks for Walmart was purchased for approximately I paid fifteen dollars and eighty eight cents. The only thing I don't like about the axe is that it comes with this compartment to store away the axe. This piece I could probably cut this piece off and just keep this piece, or just make a leather sheath for it. The axe length is fourteen inches, as you could tell. This resembles the Fiskars axe and also the Gerber axe. This axe is made in India. It has an eyelet hole that you could put a cord through, a paracord through, and wrap it around your wrist. And it also has a hollow handle, which is pretty strong. This seems to be a heavy duty plastic. And the rubberized handle. And um, I beat this axe to hell yesterday. I did some chopping, some batoning. As you can see, the back of the axe has a flat piece. You could hit some pegs into the ground. I did do some feather sticking with this axe, but it's not that good for feather sticking his strong points were ch chopping wood and um splitting wood as you can see the shape of the axe is perfect for splitting wood but i also wanted to show you this part i beat it to hell and as you can see my edge is gone and bent up it looks like the wood chewed it up this was the this was on the first day of using this axe. And I, I'm telling you, I, I beat it. I chopped, I batoned, I split wood, I feathered with it. And after all that, I noticed the edge. I noticed that it was getting dull. This is something that could be fixed with a grinder. But um, I don't know, that gives me some pause on recommending this axe for the price point. It's not a bad axe. You could probably get a better axe for the same price. But like I said before, I picked this up at Walmart. Roughly around $16. So this is something that could be fixed. You just got to take a grind to it and resharpen it. And um, when I bought this axe, it didn't come too sharpened. I did have to sharpen it before I went out and used it in the field. But you know what? I'll I'll let you make the call on that. You can decide if you like this axe. Once again, this is an axe that you can find at Walmart for fifteen dollars and eighty eight cents. I will be grinding this edge back and you know reusing this axe. I I like the axe. I just don't I don't know why I got bent up on the first day, but I did beat it. I even cranked on it on the sides and this piece. This held on strong. So I like the axe. I'm just disappointed on that. 
as you can see there. But I'm going to fix that right back up and keep using it. I ain't got no choice. I bought it. But if you like this axe, by what you can see, maybe if you get the axe, you'll have different results. Because I've seen other videos where they don't talk about this. And the wood I was chopping wasn't too hard. So, there you go, you two. That's the Ozark Trail hatchet slash axe. I'd like to thank you for watching and sharing your time with me. Rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Cypress 4K, and I'm out.